hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i am your girl melinda J, and i'm coming to you all with a review of the last episode of the queens of r&b on bravo and yes yeah, the season finale as well and thank gosh okay thank god that it is over with because it was really beginning to be unbearable watching that show because just the stuff that unfolded ever since episode one has just literally taken the true essence and the experience of these two wonderful groups away from the show but since Mona Scott is the one that produced this show I, it's no surprise to me because um, I respect her hustle game but at the end of the day there's always mess associated with her um, so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it so they continue on with the conversation of the kickback that Rocky has been getting or allegedly has been getting from luring the group to perform at an event so with this what did I mention in here the conversation let's see they start back continuing the conversation of Tasha has been uh, Tasha's husband Rocky has been getting a kickback from the promoter and Tasha calls Rocky and Rocky gets upset and doesn't want her to say anything on his behalf and stated that he hasn't stolen anything or he hasn't been getting any kickbacks like that and basically it's just deny 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 but at the end of the day um I, I which I agree with all the members in the group that the money should be disputed amongst the group members and whether it's a big amount or a small amount it at the end of the day y'all a group for a reason and y'all discuss things as a group y'all finalize things as a group so nobody should be getting money underneath the table at no circumstances also hmm, the uh, i also said kickbacks off of people who okay this is when rocky was saying it while he was in the confessional with uh latosha latosha about explaining kickbacks as in well the only people who get kickbacks is the one who hustle for it and rocky says he feels like he doesn't need to hustle for a kickback so at um with this portion here tamika mentions Ever since Tasha met Rocky, she had changed because if she feels like she's been brainwashed by him. So with that being said, what I got from this situation is they need management, okay? <laughs> it's Kate needs management. And a management that nobody has associated themselves with as far as like, hey, I know this person. I mean, they can have a mutual, uh, a business relationship with that person, but if they have like a mutual friendship or like a close connection to the person that they're recommending for ma management, I don't think it should go like that at this point. I think they need someone fresh and knows about the group, but will handle the business and will vouch for the group like the manager does for s like the managers does for swv because let's keep it 100 i mean both groups have experienced some people wanting to go solo like coco wanted to go solo with swv which caused the dismantling of swv and then we had Candy doing her single. And then we had Tasha doing her single uh, solo project and all that other stuff. But at the end of the day, it, the group that I'm seeing that is doing well, even though the kickback or the catch of it is always, well, they're not headlining. They're not headlining. They're not headlining. They are 
opening for people but they're not headlining okay yeah but at the same time they are out there they're still putting themselves out there and um i'm pretty sure there'll be a time where they do want to headline but as long as the money is flowing in their pockets who cares that that's what i'm getting from swv because now after they had their show on we tv because they didn't have their show on bravo they had their show on we tv now that they have went through and sorted out and everybody has gotten everything out of their system within the swv crew they have gotten to the point where they do have management and they do run like a oil, uh, well oiled machine compared to escape it's like internal and external that is affecting the group and how they would navigate as a group of four versus being a group of three so and all in a nutshell yes escape y'all need a whole new management that is that can be well communicated with all members in the group and there is no like close knit association to anyone in the group that will make a person feel like oh you're showing more favoritism to the other person than instead of just keeping it all equal in fours or three since they're since Latasha been kicked out of the group so that's my those are my thoughts on that session escape get an a man get a management good gosh get a solid management crew um that is strictly business all right so we go into the next scene of everybody meanwhile everyone is staying at the hotel at the same hotel latasha is staying at an airbnb and i mean to a certain degree people are feeling some type of way with that but the way things have been going on the show i mean i would have acted the same way with <laughs> to a certain degree i would have acted the same way like if this is happening in the group let me go ahead and seclude myself you know if if the people are on one level put me in a level below them or something i probably wouldn't be like in an airbnb but if i'm feeling some type of way with the person and it's not being addressed head on just just put just put me in a level below them or something <laughs> and we'll figure it out once everything is happening but the next big scene was of course everyone were uh, arriving to rehearsal and they only have a limited time to practice before the main event happens because we have to keep in mind that this show was basically like a last minute um this show yeah this show was basically like a last minute gesture or an offer and luckily they obliged to it but due to what has unfolded lately it's more like well was it worth it <laughs> which is, that is one of the questions that they will ask at the end so swv is basically freestyling in uh freestyling and rehearsing their songs and then escape makes their arrival and tamika mentioned while swv is rehearsing tamika mentions that she wanted to see how they are uh, how how much time between the songs and the transitions before the next group appears because that would determine how much time they have ready for, i guess for like um set up or possibly doing a dress change or basically just getting a feel on the song transitions between one group and another and how much time do they have to get off the stage and get on the stage i believe that's what tamika was trying to get at with that and of course tasha is late to the rehearsal i think she arrived an hour and 47 minutes late to the rehearsal but at the end of the day she made it 
And she came with an entourage. People felt some type of way with that of her coming in there with an entourage. Along in her entourage was a videographer, her husband, her private chef, her wardrobe, her assistant. And Lily, she refers Tasha as Diana Ross because once, you know, she came in, she was like, and Diana Ross has arrived. And she has arrived, everyone. She has arrived. She has arrived. But at this point, who doesn't have an entourage? I mean, an entourage can be two or more people other than the person that is performing. So to some degree, everybody had a little entourage. But I believe Tosh had the biggest entourage out of everybody. Anyways... So the frontliner or the showrunner was basically managing the portion where the groups are basically rehearsing their songs. And it seemed like he was getting agitated. I couldn't get his name, but it seemed like he was getting agitated. He was in that Leanne um, Gibson uh, um you know, the choreography, the choreographer, it seemed like he was getting in that mode right there. Like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Chill. All right. I get it. Well, why won't you have a microphone so you can say cut it, you know? Anyways, but Loki, he was doing the most. But I get it. You want to make sure everything is going well because your name is on the line just as much as SWV and Escape's name is on the line. Um, SW, while he's doing that, SWV's manager is heckling down on Steven saying, hey, how much time we have left on this rehearsal because my group got to go. And this is why Escape needs a management because the manager that is handling SWV he's doing a bomb ass job. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. He's done a good and he's doing a good job for what it, for what he's doing because yes, time is money and we don't want the performers to be late because of the rehearsal ending late, all right? Also what was mentioned or what was uh, what we all seen was Escape was messing up during rehearsal which that happens from time to time but that's what rehearsal is about you get it right at rehearsal so um, you can be ready once the main event happens and then let's see another thing that I wrote down was Candy oh Candy had asked about is there going to be a time within the song that they you know do a little talking portion on it and Taj is like ain't nobody got time for all that right now I mean we we press for time we just running through the motions the transition and if y'all want to do that do that but right now is not the time because we're literally we're literally tick tocking on the dot all right so and this is in regards to the living in Bane song because I think that was right at the an idea that came right out of the blue too of wanting to do living and bang together so what Taj had did in this scenario she was like so and as a group or as both groups because it is a gospel song and that's the first song that Escape had performed or auditioned with Jermaine Dupri at the time to get to where they are or get the deal so they can be the stars that they are now. And so Taj was up for the idea of both groups singing the Living in Vain song because they'll give you like a good intermission and calm down. However, uh, Coco was not, not there for singing the song because she's like uh -uh, I don't do I don't play with gospel like that for, um, going from what we're doing and then going to a gospel and then going back to what we're doing so Coco was getting a little frustrated because basically she says I don't do church on the scene and and, and she becomes aggravated to the point she wants to fight 
And I'm like, no, Le- uh, no, Coco, no, we was doing so good. <laughs> However, no one is listening. And then that's when Taj had said, okay, let's go ahead and do the song as a cohesive venture impromptu with filled with empowering women and all that goody two shoes and go into the next song and Don Juan said that's corny but Don Juan has that corny and then Todd said who said that who said that and then Steven said Don Juan Don Juan is the one that said that And so at that point, Taj is like fed up and she was like, yeah, you need to shut up on this matter. Ain't nobody asked you uh, because you're not ordering us around. You're not our manager. Uh, And Coco was like, yeah, y'all thought I was the one, but mm -mm. y'all be talking, y'all be thinking it's me. Y'all be thinking it. That's what Lily. Uh, that's what Coco said. Y'all be thinking it's me that be cutting the rug. But every now and then, Taj will put her foot down, and Lily will put her foot down to set the record straight. So, basically, what I got from this rehearsal scene was it was a hot ass mess. I mean, let, I, the rehearsal was um, they did what they could at that point with the time frame that they had and honestly that segues into the main event which is i mean at the end of the day it seems like they it turned out good for the most part with the visuals the costumes and stuff like that um one thing i did like that like about the costumes is that with SWV even though they took a chance of having risque outfits like Escape does with theirs they still stuck true to what they uh, do for themselves as an individual of sticking to the style even though it's a sexy risque form and then the combat boots, like we still gonna hold it down for our on our end when it comes to staying true to what we are and be on a cohesive train in this event. So I did like that aspect. You know, they went with the designer that does escapes costumes or does escape wardrobe for the concert but they still stuck true to themselves from from the clothing that they had to the combat boots of what they feel comfortable in doing or performing in because as as we all saw the setup i mean those are a lot of stairs come down to so why not just take the opportunity and I mean, you can still wear heels, but there is a possible chance that you can fall down. So why not just thug it out with some combat boots, make it cute, and go on by your business. What I got from the main event, because Tasha, I see the notes that I took, Tasha arrives, arrives with her entourage again. Candy and Tamika share a room, and Tiny and Tasha share a room. Lily mentions she is nervous about performing and goes into the aspect of, well, I'm always nervous when it comes to performance because she wants to make sure everything is right because if one thing is off, then it throws her off all the way. And as a artist or an individual, and you're, you're, you're doing, if you're doing something that you love, Of course, you're going to be nervous about it because you want everything to go right. And I mean, there are times when it goes wrong or completely kaboom. But at the end of the day, we just want to make sure our audience are. Taj mentioning that it's a blessing and an honor to still perform 
the way uh, perform the songs that they have sung throughout their career and still main be able to maintain an audience and a fan base because that is rare nowadays let's keep it a buck the timeless music is what keeps everybody going compared to the music that is produced now it's more like it's just like how our, our attention spans are it's like oh it's good here and then the next day okay what's the next what's next squirrel that's how our attention span is nowadays so it is a blessing and and an honor to be able to still be in your sage years your seasoned years and still performing like new edition uh bell bell uh bb let's see bbv okay no bb bbd Devo, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. H um, <laughs> Town is able to, H uh, Town is able to do their thing. Monica, uh, who else? Brandy, all the '90s artists are still able to go out and do their thing and give us fans. Our, the longtime fans as well as new fans of the gener- of the recent generation something to listen to as well that way they can do their research and enjoy the music just as much as we did back in the day also they went into singing the gospel song living in vain and what had caught my eye when they was doing this performance was when they showed the throwback photo or the throwback footage of Escape singing the In Vain song in the rehearsal and there was a fifth member there was a fifth person singing with Latasha, Tiny, Tamika and Candy so there was a fifth member uh, meanwhile, Miss Gloria saying she's a feel. I I would have thought that would came out of Mama Joyce's mouth of saying she's a fifth member, but it came out of Miss Gloria's mouth. And then, of course, um, the Scott's father was talking about. Uh, I, well, he didn't necessarily say it, but to close context, he's like the fifth member as well. But. Um, remember when I told y'all from the last previous reviews that each time Escape came together for a meeting, I always felt like there was a fifth member there, but it was always the four. Well, like I said, in the, in the flashback, living in vain, auto, um, auditioning, footage there was a fifth member there and she was tall and light-skinned so i'm like who is this fifth member that was supposed to be or that was with escape at the time who is that mysterious fifth member if you can answer that for me in the comment section i may have to do more research digging up in the archives but there was a fifth member and then when the group had got established, it went to four. So I was I was not wrong, okay? That's my intuition coming into play. Um, also, Coco feels like we should have still been the last song. I think so too, but it all played out in the, in the long run. Let's see, Tasha mentions about her sister not having the same chemistry on the stage, whether it was a pat on the tush for encouragement or saying such things like, keep keep going, sis, you singing that, sis. So the chemistry between the Scott sisters are different this time around compared to what, what once, oh, see, I always get this tongue tied. What once was, okay, so the chemistry is different between the Scott sisters and you can see it after they do the understanding 
um, down on my knees and begging you please portion. I do see the difference and I've never been to an escape show before, but I do see the difference of the Scott sisters being on the stage and interacting with each other. Like from when Tasha mentioned that in her, in her confessional that I did see Tamika showing candy, the love and the support like she would with her sister if you get my drift so i did see that little aspect there and then after they um they all performed the show had ended taj had asked was it worth it and would they do it over again and everybody said yes yeah, surprisingly so from what the end screen was saying about SWV and Escape doing another tour. That's still that is still pending. Hopefully they'll get things together to where they can go back on tour or, or can tour a collaborative approach. Other than that, just keep doing what y'all doing. So after the show, that's when Tamika brings Tasha to the side and have a separate talk in a separate room where nobody is there except for the cameras and Tasha is very reluctant to have the conversation and Tamika is wanting to have the conversation because she really wants to know where they stand as a sisterhood because she misses the sisterly love just as much as Tasha uh, misses the sisterly love what I got from this segment between the two sisters was that they both are missing each other and they have vocalized it. I don't know if they vocalized it. Well, we they did vocalize it in, in the private session with each other. But they both are saying the same thing. Tasha is saying, I miss my old sister uh, the the old connection with my sister and Tamika is saying the same thing I miss the connection with my sister and I'm like it's like y'all are mirroring each other what is going what is it going to take for you all to merge together again what is it going to take for y'all to merge together again because y'all both saying the same thing but what is the intention behind y'all saying it because it could be one saying i want the sister i want my sister back because she was able to ride or die for me and she ain't had to and there was no questions being asked and then on the other side you got i want my sister back because uh i just miss her in general like us having each other's back no matter what the circumstances is whether she's lying whether she's telling the truth i'm able to do this i'm able to do that so i'm like okay until y'all get to the root of the issue i'm gonna keep saying this because it's the proof is in the pudding until y'all get to the root of the issue and really surrender to the egos that plays into the effect of this and you can still live in your truth and not have an ego about it but until they get into the root of the issue as a sisterly bond within themselves and as a family unit then it's it's still going to continue to have that rift between both of them so at the end of the day keep that at the end of the day <laughs> um they can say i miss my sister all you want to but who is really going to surrender to the will of you know what we're we gonna have to really have the candid conversation behind closed doors without no cameras and really surrender to our egos and and put our egos and pride to the side and really get down to what really is the root issue that lies within the rift between both of y'all. Okay, because we can't be hearing this constantly. I want my sister back. I want my sister back. I want my sister back. Okay, 
y'all need to have a conversation y'all need to have a conversation so y'all can get it all out lay it all the line and be able to forgive and with time comes healing okay y'all don't have to force it on each other but dang it's again i'm not gonna sit here and play like they uh, actually i think this is a blessing in disguise for them because it really shows the true dynamic between brothers and sisters or just siblings in general within the family unit whether from young to old from rich and for poor it really shows the dynamic between and the the grudges and the resentment and the guilt and the shame and the hurt and all those aspects that plays into the sibling rivalry when everything does not go on one accord so i'm not going to press judgment any further than what i see on tv because again that's what us everyday folks go through it's just they're just basically the sacrificial lambs because the business had accidentally got let out into the floodgates for all of us to be in, invited to the group chat but nonetheless uh that is the review of the show it's been a long time coming i told you i was gonna stick to just reviewing the show because the mess that has unfolded within the group and within the scott sisters is just beyond me that's too much energy to consume on a daily basis and literally and and on a on an hourly manner too uh shouts out to all the other creators that are able to proceed on and get down to the root of the issue or just get any inklings of what are the possibilities that lie within the relationship between the groups and the sisters and the family unit but i'm going to stay in my lane <laughs> and just review the show and whenever I do my analyzing of the of the groups and the the relationship between the groups and the family unit and the sisterly unit, that'll be done on my spiritual channel when I'm um unlocking some patterns that I see. Cause I, I see them patterns and it's ooh, it's relevant. Relevant to today's society other than that i'm gonna leave y'all to it be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye